Let me ask you African Americans out there that loved Obama, that thought he was the greatest thing since sliced bread, okay? Half white, half black. How do you feel about him now? And I want you guys to tell me in my vlog here what you feel about that. It's your opinion. Did he, did he promise to save you homes in the past? Um, real estate? Okay. I'm going to help you save your homes. I'm going to help you do this. I'm going to help you do that. How many of you African Americans, which I love thoroughly, you uh, you guys are very special to me, and, and not because of your race, because you you got a backbone. You all have a backbone, but you're you're a lot talented. You're very hard workers. You're the people that love life. They love their families. Love the children. Your children. I'm not saying the children. You're loving other children too, I'm sure. But how many promises did Obama give to you people when you went to Washington? And how much was broken? Can you break that down for me and give me your views on that? Because I know he never kept his promises. And I'm sure you're disappointed. Some will have mixed reviews saying, oh, I'm going to give him time. How much time can you give the guy? The, his time is running out. His election is going to go out very soon. You know, uh, his presidency. How much, all I want to know a question. How much did Obama help you African Americans? I'm not trying to stereotype. I, this is not what I'm trying to do. Please be aware. Not trying to stereotype. I'm just saying, I've noticed African Americans in tears when he first became president, crying and all excited and excited and whatever. And how are you feeling now, today, from the time he was sworn in to now? And what is this? It's 2006. May, tw May 6, 2011, actually. Uh, all right. I don't know why I said 2006. Maybe that was his presidency, I don't know, a few years ago. But anyway, how are you feeling? I mean, how are you feeling? Please voice it. I don't care if it's negative, positive, whatever you got to give to me. Tell me how you're feeling. I I will respond to those who want to talk about it. If you don't want to talk about it, fine. But I'm going to tell you my opinion. I think you you all were deceived, you know, and thinking that yeah, because he was a black president. But remember, he wasn't full black. He was half black. His mom. But there's some discrepancies about where he lived. He was born in Kenya. He was born in Indonesia. He was, you know, there's all kinds of rumors. You tell me what you think where he was born. And if that birth certificate should be played out. He paid $2 million to get that out. To stop it. To get it out. And then they... Uh, had something that was, you know, something ain't right with that picture. I'm sorry. With the birth certificate and all, and I don't know. Just give me your reviews. Let me know how you feel. Um, but I really feel for you people because I feel you guys were let down. He promised you his own, you know, his own heritage down. You know, the black African Americans down and this is sad because there's a lot of African Americans that are very talented very aware of things they are smart witty they love they they do have anger they're no different than me I, I mean I'm half African you know I'm half um, Indian uh, I'm talking about a Native American 
and French. And but I do respect the African American culture. I do. I always have. And I'm just wondering what you guys would think about Obama. What he's doing is not right. It's terrible. It's awful what he did. He promised all these things and never followed through and and your jobs and how many how many African Americans got their job after that speech? I want to know that. That's my question. Okay, leave your comments below. Take care. Good night.